Hey there, Alina Wilson here. Today I'm going to talk about what are called variables. So if you're ever going to go take the Exactware user certification exam, you'll need to know how to find the linear foot, the square foot, the um, square foot of a whole level uh, in total and those types of things. And if you don't deal with variables every day, it's kind of hard to find what they're asking for. Um, there's also a part of the knowledge exam where you have to match up the variable with the description of what the variable is. So if you know where to find them, it's really easy to just answer those questions. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you what variables are, how to use them, and actually there's some time-saving tips that you can use in the calculator field with variables too. So we'll just talk variables today and uh, let's go take a look at how they work in Xactimate. Also, I forgot. Thank you, Kevin, who emailed me and asked me how to find the total linear foot, square foot, all kinds of things uh, for his floor plan and his room that he was looking at. So, Kevin, thanks for the idea. Just wanted to give you a little shout out there. Now let's go take a look at variables. So I'm starting here in Sketch in Xactimate. I am working in X1 today, not version 28. So everything I'm going to show you is going to be exactly the same, except for there's this blue ribbon over here, and I'm just in the Sketch part of the program. So we'll just collapse that. And what I want to show you is how you can find your variables for all those questions that you might be asked on an exam, or if you're just trying to figure linear feet or square footage for an estimate or for a job, this will help you as well. So you can click on the room where in Sketch you've sketched a room or a roof or what have you, and you can go to the hand hovering over the piece of paper. And we click there in the properties. There's a section that not many people utilize or even know about called variables down here. These are all of the specific properties of that room that I can use actually in the calculator with line items if needed. Um, but also, like I said, some of the questions on the exam, they might ask you, what's a wall opening uh, square footage or wall opening linear feet? Well, that's when you don't really know what you're looking for here. Well, that's where you need to know the definitions of what each of these variables mean. I mean, C for ceiling, that's pretty easy to tell, but let's get the definitions of what each of these mean. So click for all variables. That'll open up a new window here, and you can see that the wolf is actually the total wall opening width. And these are going to be the kinds of things that they're gonna ask you on the exam, and you need to know how to get to your variables so that you can use them. The other thing that you can do, and they're gonna ask you possibly, is for a total square footage of the floor plan that is drawn. There you need to go to your main level tab down below in Sketch, right click and go to Properties, and then you can see it'll say variables there. And this is your total variables of this floor plan that I've sketched. And that way you can get your uh, total floor area or whatever you're looking for here. It'll be on this list as well as the definition of what those variable uh, codes mean. So that's why that's useful is if you need a total of the level that you're working on. So it would only apply to the main level, of course. And if we went to the roof, I could see for the roof variables, um, you could see the total roof here at the total square count and then um, some other things. You can also do what's called lassoing. So you can also lasso, pull this dotted line around your roof or your floor plan and go to the properties. And that's another way of looking at the variables. So, but for the exam, they really want you to know that you can find the variables also for totals in your tabs. This could be one of the questions, just pointing you in that direction. Um, so there for the roof, we could just click for all variables since I've highlighted the roof and I can see a total square, total perimeter for drip edge, all that other fun stuff is in the sketch. So of course you have to have sketched something in order to do this, right? Um, so that's where some people kind of get confused because we do a lot of work in the estimate item screen, maybe using a roof measurement report and don't do much sketching. And then I've got rebuild contractors who are sketching every day. So this will come, uh, should be second nature to you to, to see because uh, you work in Sketch a lot. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. I teach contractors how to use Xactimate. For more information on what I do, you can visit my website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you have a great week in your business, and I'll see you next week.